Creating a custom lathe tool in Mastercam is simple. This could be done by referencing either 2D wireframe or solid models. In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to create a custom tool out of wireframe. To do this, you can either have the wireframe saved to a separate file or on another level in the file you're working on, like we have here. For this example, we're going to use the simple part with a back angled internal slot. We'll start by using a standard boring bar to rough out the majority of the slot with a grooving toolpath before finishing it off with our custom defined tool. Now that we've roughed it out, we're going to use our finished toolpath to walk our custom grooving tool into the leftover material of that groove. Using a partial chain, we'll select a start and end chains, and then select our dynamic position button to set a custom end position on that chain. We choose the create tool button on the right click menu to start the tool definition process. As we're utilizing the custom wireframe, we'll define this as a custom tool. Next, we'll confirm the plunge and cut directions of our tool, and make sure that the tool geometry is set to level, with the correct level entered in. To make sure Mastercam compensates the tool correctly, we'll click the Tool Center button and select the center of the tool radius relative to the origin. On the Tool Type page, select the style of tool this will be defined as, and finally enter in all of the parameters for this tool, including the name you want it to have in your tool list. As you can see, Mastercam creates an image for it based off the wireframe you used and populated the speeds and feeds according to the parameters you set for that tool. In our finished parameters, we'll make sure the lead-in is set appropriately relative to the angle of the groove. We turn on the plunge parameters to allow the tool to plunge into the angle and accept the toolpath. 